This is Mac 23A engine specifications and in order to fill in this worksheet you will need to look at a few different things. First thing you'll need to do is look at the engine itself. Um, these things you're going to have to find right on the engine itself. So the engine make, there'll be, it'll be written in right on the engine so you put that in there. Model type and code we've looked at already so you can put those in there. Engine displacement will be found by looking at the engine model number. Now how do we know what numbers in the model number are the engine displacement? First thing we need to do is go back to the power portal on this main page and you'll come up and you're going to click on technical publications search by model and we've got two things we can do here I've already shown you how to find some of the information through here we're going to go to engine repair manuals when you go to engine repair manuals, you're going to roll on down for the five horsepower engine to a single cylinder L head engine after 1981. So that one right there. Once you open that up, this is what you'll see. And it's a PDF of the paper manual. Good. All of the information that you're going to need, most of the information you're going to need, is going to be in this general information section. So we can go to this general information section and we will scroll up. We were looking for the engine um, displacement. And in order to do that, we need to go to the very end of chapter one. So we'll just scroll on up to the end of chapter one. And you will have uh, a page that, almost there, one more. It says your key to the world's finest engines and this chart explains the unique Briggs and Stratton numerical model and designation system and so you, what you'll do is you'll look at the model number that's what they have here model number and your model number will be somewhere along here the first digits and that will be your engine displacement the first one or two digits of your model so then you'll go back to your paper here and write in your engine displacement right there. After that, we've got uh, horsepower output. Horsepower output is also written on your engine. And then we have type of fuel and type of oil. To find the type of fuel and type of oil, you're going to go back to this document. And you know you'll find it in the first chapter so I'm going to go back to near the beginning and it will give you a few of the maintenance items that you need to do so it's looking like it's on page 5 so you go to page find 5 find that information and then you will come back and fill it in the next thing you want to find is the idle speed armature air gap intake and exhaust valve clearance place that you're going to locate those things is in one of the first pages. So if we scroll back to the top here, you're going to find before the table of contents, you'll see this chart right here. Now this chart is two pages long, so you have to picture it for the first page first and then the second page. And you can see over here on this side, we have the basic model series right there. That basic model series, if we go down, we'll be able to find our engine. It's one of these in here. Let's say it's that one. And then what we can do is we can scroll across and relate it to what we have up on top here. You can see oil capacity, armature air gap in inches. So that's one of the things you'll have to find. Valve clearance, intake, and exhaust. So we would follow it. We also have standard bore inches and play some stuff like that too. What else do we need to find? So we saw armature air gap, we saw intake valve clearance, we saw exhaust valve clearance, now we need to find idle speed. So another way to do this in this section is to use your keyboard and you're going to hit control F. When you hit control F You'll see a little window pop up in the top right there. That little window, we're going to type idle speed. There we go. Now, you can see that it says one of 30 instances up in this top right corner. I'm going to go down 
and find where it says idle speed and I will write down the number of RPM that the idle speed is supposed to be and you'll find it there you'll just have to dig around a bit good that should show you how to fill in that and so once you've done that again you'll fill in and hand, out the, hand in the skill ticket in the class box